going to be showing you exactly what I eat during a normal day in the life of like Henry, I guess. So you're probably wondering why I'm topless. It is actually, I'm not the naked chef. I've just finished a workout and I've had a shower and I'm so, so hot. And I always train fasted. Just, it's a preference that I like to do, and now I'm absolutely starving. So we're gonna jump into meal one, which is my famous, and Will's famous, protein oats. You're gonna like this one, trust me, it's banging. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below, and yeah, let's get into it. Oh, I love sparkling water. I've just jumped off, like I'd say, a cut, if you've seen some of my previous videos, then you'll notice that I've dropped quite a lot of weight. But I'm now eating around 3,000 to 3,200 calories. I'll pop the macros up on the screen now of exactly what I'm kind of eating. And yeah, let's get into breakfast. So, first up we have the Scottish porridge oats, which I have about 100 grams of, they taste insane. I'll then put some kin, uh, this is vanilla protein powder in, this is really good. It's just like a whey protein, doesn't mean really bad. I actually prefer vegan protein, but this one is the only one I've got today. It's really good, then I'm gonna pop some creatine in there as well because I've just finished a workout and it's really good for you as well. And then I've got my secret ingredients, which are cacao powder. Is it cacao or cocoa? Cacao? Cacao powder. Cocoa. And I've got cocoa powder. <laughs> and then I've got some ground cinnamon as well. And then I always put in some fresh berries. I love blueberries and I love raspberries as well. So the boys are white. The boys are warm. And yeah, I've also got some multivitamins and vitamins here. So I've got a multivitamin. Vitamin D, vitamin B12, and two fish oils. So I'll neck them in one. Some people can't do it, but I will do it here. 100 grams of oats. I had to literally free roll. I put so much cacao powder in, I actually love it. And I just put about a teaspoon of cinnamon, 30 grams of this protein in as well. Tastes legit, they're good. Now you may be wondering why I've got the most random yellow bowl, but I'm, I'm adamant that the way you make protein oats, the bowl has to be right, and this bowl has lasted me through three houses in London, and I'm never changing it to make my oats. I'm gonna have this for life. Nice, kind of gloopy consistency. So it's about 100 to 200 mils of water. 50 grams of blueberries-ish. Chuck some raspberries in there as well. So that's good. Some people like putting on top, but that's what I left. I always heat them, I just don't know why. Key, key bit, you can't overcook them, otherwise they get too stodgy. So you have to make sure you do it at a certain time. So, first one, always two minutes. Once two minutes is up, give it a good stir, then one more minute, good stir, then about 30 seconds, good stir. So lots of people go on about this like post-workout window, you need to grab like a protein shake straight after you've worked out. It doesn't actually matter. I do recommend you get a good meal in after your workout anyway, because you've got to replenish the glycogen stores in your body. So I always recommend like big carby meals and for the protein as well. So this is a good meal for that. <laughs> I always put yogurt on top of my foods as well. I usually have like a fade yogurt, but this one's a light and free Sky R. Sky R. I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're really good. They've got 81 calories apart, 14 grams of protein, and less than 0.5% fat and five carbs. And this is a blueberry flavor, it tastes insane. This is the perfect post-workout protein meal. But I'm hungry, let's go eat. Okay guys, so on to meal number two. It's coming up to around half 12 now, and I'm getting peckish. I'm just about to go out and shoot some content with Will, so I'm going to see his looks here. What do you think? I'll get the meal in now and then we should be good to go for a few hours. So I'm in a quite lucky position where I get my meals delivered to me. It just saves me so much time, saves me having to look in shops to source out good quality protein and meals. So legit, about a day would probably save me about 90, 90 minutes at least. Spicy beef meatballs, bok choy, shredded spicy coconut rice noodles, Indonesian spice dressing, spring onions and sesame sauce. That's banging how good that looks. The only thing I'm worried about is if I spill any down this white shirt. <laughs> um, so once I've done this, we're gonna go shoot, and if the images turned out well, I'll show you now. How good is that food? Mate, I'm not even joking. This meal is absolutely insane, and so far... Don't spill anything down my shirt. No bystands. Best not be. 
Get it down, your son. Oh my god. So meal number three, we've just got back from shooting and I'm absolutely starving. It's been about three and a half hours since we've eaten, so let's get some food in here. So for meal number three, we are going to have my famous, which I, I think this is the second famous thing I've made today, but it is my pizza rice cakes. They're absolutely delicious and it's like four ingredients, so let's get to it. So we've got standard Tesco rice cakes here. I've got some cheese. So I'll weigh out about 50 grams of the cheese. This is the evening grated protein cheese as well. This stuff is actually, it's really low calorie and it's a lot less fat but high protein and it doesn't even sacrifice with uh, taste or quality either. Especially when you grate it or put in eggs and stuff, it tastes amazing. Oh, it's gone all messy. On top of that, I've got some spicy chorizo slices. I probably should have actually put the spicy chorizo slices on first, but it doesn't really matter. And then guys, we're gonna finish off with some Pick, pick, what did I say last time, my last video? I'm gonna finish off Piccolo tomatoes. Uh, okay, I'm terrible at that. Calories, but I'll leave the calories on the screen and the macros. So that is it before it goes into the oven. So what we'll do is we'll grill it now for about three minutes. It won't need any longer. Wait for these. These are absolutely insane. Trust me. <laughs> oh shit! You've definitely burned them. I did burn them a little bit. So the thing is, because they've got sugar, they've got salt on the rice cakes. They burn so much easier, but they do taste absolutely insane. They're, they're going to taste amazing. I know it. Add some sriracha sauce on the top, and they will be literally like a healthy pizza. You never get a nice pizza. It always has a little bit of burnt on them. I'm not so sure about it. Okay, first bite, here you go. Trust me. I swear down, they're absolutely incredible. Do you want to try some? No. They're so good. Honestly, job done. I wash it down with about one of these San Pellegrinos as well. I don't know what it is, but I'm just so into sparkling water at the moment. So, wash it down with those, have those, and I might be a little peckish afterwards, but we'll see. Okay, let me eat. <laughs> still pretty peckish and I have a cup of English tea and I'll put some oatly because I love oat milk. Uh, I'm not going to add this into my calories because I only have a tiny job. I think that's a little bit too anal. So it's not really much point for me. And then I've got this Misfits plant-based chocolate caramel protein bar that is 186 calories, 9 grams of fat, 5.8 grams of carbs, 8 grams of fiber and 16 grams of protein. And then this will be my final snack and then in about 3 or 4 hours I will have dinner. So. I don't know what's on the menu for tonight, but I'm thinking mash, fish, something like that. But anyway, let's enjoy this. So this is what the inside looks, and it's very, very good. I'll catch you on the final meal. <laughs> it's been a long day. It is getting late now. It's about half nine, and I never recommend eating this late, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, for dinner, we've got fresh boneless salmon fillets. I love these, are from Tesco, and they're great. And I've got some mashed potato. I know it's all ready made, but still really good for you. And I've got some greens as well. The salmon is full of omegas. Mashed potatoes is just really good for you, and greens obviously to get your vegetables and your micros and vitamins in. So, yeah, it will take about five minutes to make this. So, yeah, let's get to it. Right guys, you may have heard me talk about this before, but I'm using this one calorie spray. It's a great alternative instead of olive oil. Uh, olive oil is obviously like one teaspoon is about 120 calories, whereas this is just one calorie per spray. And I use it all the time. It's gonna save you about 100 calories, so well worth it. Guys, this is my final meal of the day, and it looks pretty damn good. I've got two salmon fillets, some fresh, fresh veg, and some mashed potatoes, which I put some herbs and spices in. Now this is one of my go-to meals. It's super healthy. And yeah, that'll finish off my calories for the night. And the ice cream we've got in the freezer as well. I'll show you that because I love ice cream. I kind of just goes to show you don't need to eat like chicken, rice, and broccoli or just those boring diets or anything like that, no flavouring, just to get in good shape or feel healthy. You can have, there's so much variety out there that you guys can do to get in good shape and enjoy your meals. It should never be, it should never be restrictive. And that's one thing I'm always, always about. Don't restrict anything from your diet. If you want chocolate, have chocolate. Just don't have loads of it. I always live by like an 80-20 principle. So 80% should come from like whole foods and natural. And the other 20, have something, have a beer, have some chocolate. That's the best way to live. That's gonna be more sustainable for the long run instead of just eating dry food. So 
yeah, I'm gonna get this down, and then I'm gonna have an ice cream, then we'll sign off the vlog. <laughs> guys I've just finished my final snack and as you can see I absolutely demolished that I went for a cookies and cream magnum they are absolutely insane they're one of my go-to guilty pleasures I just love finishing the day on a little sweet treat it just makes me feel makes me feel good about myself I guess <laughs> so in that magnum was about 240 calories I'll put those macros and calories right there so guys yeah that is a full day of eating that is what I usually eat in a day obviously I mix it up I like to vary my food so it doesn't get boring which I recommend you guys to do too so I don't always count calories. I think at the moment I was doing it just to lose weight, which was great. I recommend doing it if you are looking to put on size or lose weight because you can control the variables. You know exactly how much you're eating and how much weight you're losing. So I think it's a really good thing to do. So I might probably stop for a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see how we're doing. I'm enjoying it right now. I'm enjoying counting. So it's not really a, a hindrance on my day-to-day -day routine. So from what you saw today, all the foods I eat were highly nutritious, full of fiber, uh, there was the odd treat here and there, like the rice cakes, probably not full of fiber, but they're still not bad for you, and the uh, magnum as well. But the majority of the meals were highly nutritious, full of good micros, vitamins and minerals, which I thoroughly recommend doing. For me personally, and most people who are in fitness and training, if you eat really healthy foods, they're only gonna benefit you better. Your recovery is gonna be quicker, you're gonna grow, you're gonna grow better, you're gonna sleep better. So I thoroughly recommend eating as much good food as possible, because it's only gonna help you in the long run. In the short term, you can eat bad foods and it's not gonna kill you, but always remember to eat good portions of food and don't binge and stuff like that because it's only gonna make you feel worse in the long run and it's gonna affect you mentally too, so to remember that. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.